I'm here with Todd Gardner from Bronto Bikes. Uh, I believe he's from Oregon, uh, yeah. specializing in mountain bikes. So Todd, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I started building in uh, 2000. Uh, worked for Burley Design Cooperative, making tandems, uh, <coughs> recumbents occasionally. <laughs> Uh, I never worked on trailers, but uh, I don't know, I kind of learned the ropes there. And uh, then I started another company uh, building uh, pretty much everything from commuters to mountain bikes to uh, uh, nothing with fancy woody anything because uh -huh. uh, my soul has always been in mountain bikes. And uh, now I just have this company called Bronto and it's strictly mountain bikes. So last year Bronto was born, huh? Yeah, last year Bronto was born. Uh, yeah, we have uh, bikes in Europe a lot, and we have some in Japan. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So we've been selling more bikes internationally than we have in the United States. Oh, wait, how's that? How'd they hear about you? Uh, well, uh, a buddy of mine, David Alvarez, is, uh, is uh, we're working together on this project. Uh -huh. And um, I'm the builder, and he's a marketing guy. He lives in Belgium. Oh, I see. He rides with Belgian dudes all the time. And uh, also, he used to live in Japan, Got working for CatEye. Network yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Well, so, we'll help you sell more bikes in the U.S. too. With, excellent. Uh, with uh, this show and tell. So, what do we got here? Well, uh, this is basically the evolution of uh, my 29er uh, single speed. Um, I made the tooling to bend my own seat tube uh, for for basically chainstay length purposes. Yes. I wanted to push that chainstay length a lot closer. Uh -huh. So when the slider is fully compressed, center to center, bottom bracket measures 428 millimeters, so 16.8 inches. Wow. Uh, relatively short wheelbase. It could go shorter. This is with a Schwalbe Racing Ralph, the 2.4, uh -huh. and there's plenty of tire clearance. Right. Uh, I used uh, Paragon sliders. We are transitioning into our own slider dropout. Um, Should have brought that. Didn't bring that. Um, basically, I st I made this bike slightly more style stylized than uh, mm -hmm. than I do. Uh, if you're if you're looking to be racing, uh, you could potentially want a lighter weight bike. I ran bent tubes here, yes, bent top tube for a little standover uh, cushion. Uh -huh. The bent down tube is for fork crown clearance. Uh, it's a suspension corrected rigid fork. Mm -hmm. um, and I just kind of tied it all together with a with a you know subtle uh, lug look. Right. Um, so is that a lug? Actually, yeah, I actually insert a True Temper OX Platinum tube up inside that tube. Uh -huh. uh, this top tube is not OX Platinum. Obviously, you can't bend OX Platinum tubing. Uh, but um, on our other bikes, and you can if you want, choose to not run a 4130 tubing. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you can run straight and use OX Platinum to lighten it up. Mm -hmm. When you when you're looking to get a Bronto, we talk about tube spec. You know how you want the bike to look. If you right. want a bent top tube, if you don't. If you want a bent seat tube, if you don't. Right. Those are all choices you can make. Is the tubing a little bigger than? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 349 top tube, 349 uh -huh. down tube. Uh, this upper section's an inch and a half. Yeah, right. 38 one. Right. I uh, use, uh, you know, bent, S-bent chain stays, seat stays, and uh, yeah. It works. It I works. Love, I love the, the lug uh, touches here. Yeah, there. yeah. Subtle uh, details, I think, matter. Um, right. I, I build, like, I design, uh, fabricate, and paint them all myself. No way. Yeah, so I'm not handing stuff off to uh -huh. other people to to make, you know, here, take this bike, make it look pretty. Uh -huh. I'm doing everything myself. So I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, you know, yeah. painting is a big aspect, you yeah. know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. So it's hard to do. Um, Usually it's stressful. Usually people just blame the painter, the painter. Yeah, 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 the painter messed that up. So uh, you can't say it's out of paint. I actually, actually, I say <laughs> that too. <laughs> I take the hat, the painter kind of screwed up. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. But, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a dude that really likes the mountain bike, uh -huh. and so, you know, yeah. when I approach design, I approach it from the standpoint of what do I want, what how's that going to make me faster? What do you understand? And, yeah. And that's why you're sticking to mountain bikes. Exactly. Which is, which is, which is admirable. Uh, I think it's the first one we've talked to that's just sticking to yeah. discipline. Yeah, you know, people have asked us a lot for cross bikes, and we're standing back from that, you know. We're like, I know it's a, it's a line. We actually did make one, and now we're like, God, dang it! Yeah, 
Why do we do that? But it's a cool bike. Right. And it's a one of a kind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Will not happen again. All right, we have another bike here. What do you tell us about it? Okay, this is my geared Reverend 29er. Um, so uh, the last one was the Willy. This is the Reverend. Um, I have also shortened the wheelbase on the geared 29er. Uh, the center to center it measures 432 millimeters, so 17 inches on the dot. 17. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm really down with short chain stays. Yes. Because when you're climbing on a geared 29er, the biggest uh, pet peeve of mine is spinning out because your chain stays are too long. Right. I've shortened them up and popped that wheel right up underneath you so you can get traction, so your tires are going to do their job better. Right. What's uh, cool too is you've done it and keeping the aesthetics uh, good. Some exactly. Just, just bend it or cut something out and it doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I don't like to have a projected seat tube angle. Yeah. Like you have to, it's just, you know, I just correct the bend. Correct and bring it back. Bring it back, so you're running an actual seat tube like angle. Smooth way. Yeah. So you, have to learn, learn, you have to learn to bend the tubes yourself. <laughs> I made all the tooling to bend the tubes. Wow. Uh, I use the new style uh, plate mount front derailleur. And what that does is it gets all the guts for the derailleur outside. More gets clearance. it away from your tire, so you have a lot more clearance. Really? Um, use the standard uh, breezer dropouts on this one. They're stiff. There's undeniable stiffness that you gain yeah, yeah. with that. Um, I guess uh, I'm running OX Platinum uh, tubing for the top tube and the down tube. Uh, the upper section above that stainless ring is slightly thicker too so that I can bend it and so that you gain all the strength at the right up there uh, where typical, typically is a problematic place for 29ers, front impacts. And, and if you run a gusset, it can create like a stress riser and you, you've seen, I, I don't know how many people I've seen with like collapsed 29er frames right there. Uh -huh. and what I've done with this is I've tried to alleviate the need for a gusset by running a slightly heavier tube up there. Uh -huh. So it, it can take the abuse and then I lighten it up by not continuing with that. So this is a lightweight tube here and then a slightly heavier up by the head tube. Um, and this joint, is it? It's joined with a stainless sleeve, so I silver solder that together. It's nice. super strong. It holds the tube round. So as the tube's going, getting force placed on it, it wants to ovalize. And by adding that ring right there in that joint, it makes it extra strong right there. Holds the tubes around, right. keeps them from ovalizing and other, you know, ultimately failing. Uh, nice aesthetic touch too. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we're running the obviously the FSA K Force carbon uber lightweight gear on this thing mm -hmm. really nice um yeah i don't know it's a short wheelbase gear 29er i mean that's that's the best of all the worlds yes there. it works it works aesthetically and i like all the touches that you put into it yeah thank you yeah thank you right on todd cheers